Hey everyone, this is Greg from Pandaily, and today let's talk about a technology so ubiquitous that we don't even notice it in our lives anymore. Smart Assistant. Well, all of you have probably heard of the Google Assistant, Alexa, and well, Siri. Siri, can you beatbox for me? Here's one I've been practicing. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. I can do this all day. <laughs> well, she has got rhythm. AI assistants are an ambitious technology that is getting better by the hour and it's obvious that China as one of the most tech obsessed nations couldn't just watch this game unfold without stepping in. Three Chinese tech giants Alibaba, Baidu and Xiaomi have already developed smart assistants of their own and if you think about it, it looks a bit like a mirror reflection. Alibaba above all is an e-commerce company just like Amazon. Baidu operates the world's second biggest search engine just behind Google and if you think about it, Xiaomi is sort of like China's Apple. But what brings all those companies together, no matter Chinese or American, is that all of them develop smart assistants. But let's find out if China did it better. For the sake of keeping this video short and watchable, we'll focus only on two major players in the field, Alibaba and Baidu. Tmall Genie, developed by Alibaba, boasts at least eight different speakers and runs on Ali Genie AI platform. Baidu Xiaodu comes in many different shapes and forms as well and runs on Duar OS. As of 2018, Alibaba and Baidu were the third and the fourth in terms of worldwide smart speaker sales, just behind Amazon and Google. Reports have indicated that people mostly use smart speakers to stream music, ask questions, and get news and weather updates. Some people also use them to set alarms, timers, or play radio. And about 45% of users have tried to use their home control features, but out of those, only 23% actually use them daily. So I guess it's fair to say that those features are still far from the most vital. And now let's take a closer look at some of these products. So we've taken a closer look at some of the more iconic products from different manufacturers. These two are from Baidu, this is from Alibaba, and of course, this is Alexa from Amazon. We're gonna be looking at a variety of different parameters, including speed of response, functionality, flexibility, and of course, price. These three are relatively the same, so we're gonna be focusing on this guy, which came out slightly better compared to these two. So part of the downside of a Chinese speaker is that they only speak Chinese. But aside from that, they're perfectly fine. Xiaodu, Xiaodu. Where? Let me play some Jason Mraz songs. With you, Jason Mraz. I'm yours. Yeah, Xiaodu, Xiaodu. Where? Can you tell me how the weather is today? Beijing today, Hey Alexa, can you play me some Jason Mraz? Shuffling songs by Jason Mraz on Amazon Music. Oh, it's the same song, wow. It's, it's funny how popular this song is, huh? Alexa, stop. Can you tell me the air quality index in Toronto today? Here's something I found from the article air quality index on Wikipedia. Okay, well, she totally just searched on the internet for me. Alexa, stop. She how long does it take for me to get to the Forbidden Palace? I found a Forbidden Palace. It is 823.3 <laughs> kilometers away on Virginia Beach Boulevard. Okay, Virginia Alexa, Beach. stop. From here to Google, how long does it take to get to the Forbidden Palace? Wow, not bad. You see, she can actually give me a map and the overall GPS navigation system. Xiaodu, Xiaodu. Where? How do I want to buy a drink of English? How do I want to buy a drink of English? How can I say I want to buy a bottle of wine? I mean, she got the general idea, even though it's uh, slightly uh, a little bit off in terms of logic, but it's fine. Can you tell me how I would say I want to buy a bottle of wine in Chinese? Sorry, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> okay, so Alexa can't really translate for me. That's unfortunately not as powerful as the Baidu speakers. 
So after doing some few question tests, we can come to the conclusion that the Chinese speakers are doing slightly or actually a lot better than their Western counterparts, but partly because in China, the internet connection is just so much better and stabler for the Chinese services. For example, Alexa couldn't really translate for me seeing as she didn't have that function installed within her and as opposed to this guy was able to do all kinds of different services including translation, GPS navigation and all kinds of currency and location services. All in all, I would say that if you're in China, this is obviously the better choice to get. But obviously I understand that you guys would have some kind of privacy concerns which is understandable because Google and Amazon obviously use personal information to help them with their marketing services. And unfortunately, Baidu also has a bad rep for these kind of things. So when you input your data into any smart speaker, you need to think about what kind of stuff you want it, what you want to give to these manufacturers and what you don't want to give. Well, all in all, the Chinese speakers did slightly better, which is however not to say that the Western ones are worse. It's just that the Chinese ones are better integrated into the local tech environment, into the local ecosystem. So maybe if you're in Asia, consider trading your Alexa off for a Xiaodu. Thanks for watching. This is a new video series that we'll be doing on this channel. So if you like it, give us some thumbs up. If you don't like it, let us know what you think and what we should improve. And please subscribe.